Okay, we're hot. Okay. All right. Camera is rolling, so it'll just be normal. Not a big deal. Okay, we touched on quadrilaterals before, so you guys do remember that, yes? Yes. Okay. So, what are some things that you can tell me about quadrilaterals? Just what you know off the top of your head. What do you know about quadrilaterals? Hey. All quadrilaterals have four sides. Okay, what else? What's up? Uh, they consist of 360 degrees. What's 360 degrees, though? Uh, all four of the angles together. The interior sum yeah. is 360 degrees. So the interior sum is 360 degrees. Uh, Mercedes, what else you got? Oh, nothing. I was just going to say the interior, the sum of the interior. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. There are other factors that are involved, but those are the two that I need you guys to know, okay? Four sides and interior 360. Yep, those are the two most important things to know. So there are eight types of quadrilaterals that are in the quadrilateral family. I'm gonna run through just a quick, just a quick uh, explanation of each one of them, tell you the difference between some of them. I'm not gonna go super far into details because on your exam, it's not gonna require you to identify certain types of quadrilaterals or to be able to differentiate between them, okay? But the main thing that you guys will need to know, which uh, you guys struggled on back then, was how to find the angle measure of a particular angle inside the quadrilateral, and how to actually go about solving them depending on what the question is asking, okay? So that's pretty much gonna be the focus of today. Questions? All right. Are you gonna go over how to solve angles? Yeah, of course. Okay, first things first. We have the basic quadrilateral all by itself, okay? We know, just like what we said, has exactly four sides, and the sum of the interior angles is always 360 degrees. Okay? Good? Yes? Okay. Now, even though all of them are technically quadrilaterals, there is a case where one is just a straight up, just quadrilateral, where it just features these two, uh, where it just features, features these two characteristics, okay? Again, do not make the mistake of frustrating yourself or confusing yourself trying to make something out of nothing, okay? Don't try to add something to it and don't try to say, oh, what if it has this? What if it doesn't? Go off of what the rules say and what qualifies for what it is, okay? Keep it simple, okay? A kite. Kite has two distinct pairs of adjacent sides that are congruent. Okay, again, this marking right here, we know this equal side with this little sideways S means congruent. What does congruent mean again? Exact same size and shape. Same size and same shape. You cannot have one without the other and still be congruent, okay? Do not forget that, okay? Also in a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular, okay? And one pair of opposite angles are congruent. One pair of opposite angles are congruent. Okay? Again, I'm not going super deep into details with these because I just need you guys to know the basics of them. Yes, Hudson. Are you stretching or really? Um, if it has three if it has four things that look like four lines and it has 360 degrees total on interior sum. Can you prove it's a quadrilateral? If it has four sides, then and it's some. If it has four sides, then it's likely that its interior angles is 360 degrees. Because what? If, because if it's rounded and you don't have ah, it, they'll never be rounded. They'll have straight edges. I know, but if uh, I, I, pulse, hold on, remember that part where I told you don't try to make something that it's not. You're just gonna confuse yourself. Okay, keep it simple with the rules. Okay, do not confuse yourself. Okay. Now, the two types of trapezoids, okay? The first one, the basic trapezoid, has at least one pair of parallel sides. And this is the important part, but this isn't gonna be on your tests per se. The median of the trapezoid is parallel to the basis and half the sum of the basis, okay? What's the median? The me what, what's the root word? Middle, median, okay? Oh, from top to bottom. Yep. Okay? And then the other type of trapezoid is an isosceles trapezoid. Where do we hear the word isosceles in? Where does that sound familiar from? Triangle? An isosceles triangle, okay? 
has the two sides that are longer than the base, okay? Normally we see triangle, well not normally. Most triangles have three equal sides, which their sum total is 60 degrees, okay? Which we know tri triangles have a sum total of 180, okay? But my isosceles has two longer sides than the base, okay? Uh, other parts of an isosceles trapezoid has at least one pair of parallel sides. The legs, which are these parts here, are congruent, and the base angles are congruent, okay? The top, notice this, the top and the bottom are considered the bases. Normally you would think, oh, it's the head or the top, but they're just the bases. Either way, if you flip them upside down, it'll stand on its own, okay, as a base, okay? Uh, wait, how, the base is in top? How are the bases congruent when it's smaller and shorter? Which one are we talking about, the isosceles? Wait, how could the medium be equal to one and a half of the perimeter? I mean... The median of the trapezoid is parallel to the bases and oh. half the sum of the bases. And it's parallel... Oh. The bases? Like... The bases, the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom is considered the base. The sides are considered the legs. Okay. Next one, the parallelogram. The parallelogram has two sets of opposite sides that are parallel. It has two sets of opposite sides that are congruent, and the opposite angles are congruent. Okay? I'm telling you the top most important parts that you need to know, like right off the rip. Okay? And the rectangle. Rectangle is probably one of the most easily identifiable. Okay? All, a rectangle contains all the properties of a parallelogram plus four right angles, okay? And the diagonals are congruent. Four right angles, meaning each one of these corners sits at 90 degrees, equals 90 degrees, okay? Excuse me. And then the diagonals are congruent to each other, okay? So if I drew a line straight across from both of these, put them apart, they'll fold them together, they'll all be congruent. Okay, and how do you know that they'll be congruent though? Because Remember what I said, I drew lines <laughs> across each other, so what's happening? Um, bisecting. Ah, they're intersecting, which will create what types of angles when they cross like that? Uh, vertical. vertical angles, nice. Bend. Let me show you this, baby, come on. Can I call you Ben? Instead of you Ben? <laughs> you know? not that bad. Okay, I try to give you a compliment, he just, yeah, I don't know what he just said. <laughs> okay, rhombus. Huh? What? Okay, rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram plus four congruent sides, okay, and the diagonals bisect, the diagonals bisect as angles, and the diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, and the last one, which is obviously the easiest to identify, is the square. A square has all the properties of a parallelogram, plus the properties of a rectangle, plus the properties of a rhombus. Okay, the square is everything. Okay. Questions on those? Now, if you do not already have all the names written down, I would recommend you go ahead and put them in your notes now. Just have them in there. Can Quadra I draw that little diagram real quick? Uh, I ain't gonna leave it up there that long. Yeah, move. Just write the names down. Right. Or you could take a picture, yes, you can do that. Oh. <laughs> Be like Cora. I think everybody should take a picture. No, no, no. no. Am I good? This is the quadrilateral family. Remember, the two most important parts. They right. each have four sides, and the sum total of their interior angles is 360 degrees. Do not forget that, okay? Yes? Yes? Yes. You can show like Sarah or something. Like, she don't do something with Kevin, this trick. <laughs> That would suck if I just tripped on the cord. I was loud.
Our, our substitute teacher before you got here. Oh, buddy, she, I love you. She tripped. <laughs> <laughs> so and she tripped. And no one helped her up. Wow. Okay, so I, I, Nobody I, helped her? Yeah. No, she, okay, but I was all the way over here. We all she was right there. Don't say you helped. Look, look. What was I supposed to do? Look. Oh, yeah. No, Emma, Emma. Oh, my God. No, Emma, yeah, no. Emma was right beside her. And Emma was standing there. I believe it. I, I bet she's you. Like, Emma, did you set her up to fall? Yeah. No, I didn't. No, 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 all right, bring it back. all right, all right, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> okay, so on your step, on your step, a sheet of paper or in your notebooks, okay? I want you guys to get this down, okay? I have 12 problems, the degree of difficulty, really? Uh, okay, that's not necessary. <laughs> the degree of difficulty is going to progressively get a little bit more challenging, okay? However, there's nothing on here that you guys are incapable of doing. Yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy if you got to come closer, come closer. Okay? Now, remember what I said. The sum total is 360 degrees. There it is. The sum total is 360 degrees, right? That is where you will start every single time. Remember, okay? Second thing. Pay attention to what the questions are asking, okay? This is something that a lot of people have struggled with. I do not want to see these same mistakes happening again, okay? Pay attention to what the question is asking, okay? Now, start with number one, okay? First question is asking, or for the first four, find the measure of each angle indicated, okay? Exactly. So. How would you go about finding out the missing angle where you have, the first thing you know is you have a sum total of 360 degrees, okay? So we're just gonna leave this up here. Everything starts, every quadrilateral starts with 360 degrees, okay? Now, first thing you need to do, if you have four angles, you know you have a total of four angles and you have three accounted for in there and then one question mark. Okay, Emma, mm -hmm. what would you do to go about solving for the missing angle of you? Um, subtract 97, 96, and 97 again from 360, and then you get 70. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yes, I got it. Tucker, you got a calculator? I am going to W my designated calculator person, okay? Right. So when I yell out, Tucker, I need you to be ready on the dial, okay? <laughs> All right, so first step, we know we start with 360 degrees, right? Okay, we have three measures present, one unaccounted for. So to go about solving for those, we are going to subtract 97, 96, and another 97 from 360. Tucker, what we got? Hmm? Okay. No, no, no. If you add, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. So, what is 97, 96, and 97 together equal? Uh, 290. <laughs> 290. Okay. So, we know the three that we have show 290. The missing is 70. Okay. So, what is our answer for you? 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Okay. Now, go ahead and go through number three. Number two through four on your own, okay? I know it seems pretty tedious, but I'm trying to build up on it. That way you guys see how each problem is broken down and how you would go about solving it, okay? We're gonna do this one step at a time. Got it. Edit me out? Well, then you can't do this thing. 
No, I'm not in the way of the screen, actually. Well, then it's fine. <coughs> what are you, what's wrong? Nothing. You good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, number two. <clears throat> number two, Carson, what's the steps? Walk me through it. So, okay, so I subtract 95, 85, and 95 from 360, and I get 85 degrees. You get 85 left over, okay? Yeah. Everybody got that? Yeah. Okay, we see 95, we see 85, and see 95. We add those together, or we just subtract them one at a time from 360, and we're left with 85 degrees, okay? Pretty simple. Number three, Lainey, what you got? I know it's annoying, but the more you hear it, the more you see it, the more it's going to connect. And then as soon as you see it, on, you're going to be like, boom, got this. It's 85 plus 84 plus 96 minus 360 is 95. Okay, 95. And number four. Not you. Mercedes, what did you get for number four? Um, Walk me through it. I did 88 plus 100 plus mm -hmm. 100. I think that's like 280. Yeah, it was 280. <laughs> and then I subtracted 280 from 360. I think that's like 80. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm just messing. Okay, everybody good? Okay, so when you see a problem like this, first thing you want to do, make sure you know what the question is asking. Find the measure of each angle indicated. Left you a question mark. Take what you see. And what you know about quadrilaterals, the sum total is 360. Take what you see, find out what the problem is asking, and then solve. Okay? Good, good? Yeah. Okay. It's colder in the front of the room. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Wait, I didn't see four. C equals 80. Or if you do 80, 100, I don't know what you're talking about. Because I just need to keep giving it to you. Don't stop. See, every time you sing a song in fifth grade, I have it stuck in my head until I go to work. You're welcome. No. <laughs> no. Oh, you're not grateful for that? What? No. Uh, this thing, I feel like we've already done that. Yeah, it's a review. No. Wow. Wow. Well, I know who's paying attention. <laughs> okay. You guys had a touch on it, okay? That was a while ago. This is a review. Okay. Starting back. Okay. So, what you're telling me is there should be no chance that you will miss any of these. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, I'll recognize every single problem. That wasn't my question. My question was you won't miss anything, right? I certainly hope so. I, I certainly <laughs> hope not. <laughs> okay, next problem. What is the question asking us to do, Zeke? Uh, solve for x. We're asked to solve for x, okay? Now, this time it's a little bit different. This one, it gives you three angle measures. However, the one that you still need to solve for that's in an algebraic equation is angle s. That says 28x minus 1. Okay? Now, similar process, you still have three angles present. However, instead of the question mark, you still you have an algebraic equation. You're still going to follow the same steps. You start with knowing that 360 is the sum total. Okay, it's not going to be any more than that. Okay, then you are going to add up what you see there. Okay, Tucker, what you got? Number five. Uh, three equals x. No, 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 no. Process. I want the process. Oh, uh, 360 minus 110 minus 82 minus 85. Which gives me what? Plus 1 divided by 28. No, 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 no. Oh. Process. I want the process. Okay. Too often you guys rush through stuff. And sure, you might get it right for the majority of the time. But what's going to matter is the time you get it wrong. Okay. So, Process is, we're going to take what we already have in the quadrilateral. 82 plus 85 plus 110 equals what, Charlotte? It equals 277. Okay. What is 82 plus 85 plus 110? 277. 
Thank you. <laughs> 297. So, what is 360 minus 297? Um, 360 minus 297 is 63. Okay, so we left with 63. So. Now we know what the missing angle measure is. We still have an algebraic equation. So, Emma, how are you going to write that out to solve for x? Like the question is asking. Huh? Um, you're going to do 360. Nope, we already did that. Equals. We got the missing angle measure, but now how are we going to take what we have for s to solve? Oh, 2 or 20x minus 1 is equal to Nice. 28x minus 1 equals 63. Mercedes, walk me through how to solve that. Um, add 1 to each side. Add 1 to each side of the equation, eliminates that, plus 1 makes 64. Okay? And then divide each side by 28. Emma? What, what is 64 divided by 28? Uh, Somebody did some math wrong. Somebody did indeed. Put it two point two. So I can't trust Charlotte to give it to me right there. Wait, hey. Six, six, oh yeah, I, like, I was at sixty. <laughs> Calculator, <laughs> Estella. It's two seventy five. Estella, what is eighty two plus eighty five plus one ten? It's two seventy seven. I think Charlotte just made a mistake. It is two seventy seven. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but he actually said that. Yeah, I had 277. He told me I was wrong. She did say that. She did say that. I heard her say 77. Okay? Yeah, I said 277. I heard 77, not 277. I thought you were giving me one angle pleasure. Okay. Don't forget. Okay. 360 minus 277 is what? 83. Okay, 83. Same process. We're going to write our algebraic equation 28x minus 1 equals. 83. Oh my god. Okay. Now, plus 1, plus 1. We have 84. We have 28x. Okay. 28. What is 84 divided by 28? 3. 3. 3. Okay. Everybody see how that was done? Yeah. Okay. And this question is asking you to solve for x. Okay. Now, Charlotte, how would we go about confirming that we did everything correct? We're going to go and we're going to set up the problem of like 28 times 3, because that's what the value of x was, put 3 in the parentheses, minus 1 equals um, 8, 8, 83. Sure. <laughs> Just teasing. It's so. If I'm hearing you correctly, what you're saying is we're going to plug in our x value back into the original equation and see if we end up getting 83. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Everybody good? Questions? Okay. Nicely done. Are we going to do that? Are we going to do what? We already did that. We just did it for me. Okay. Now, number six. Number six. Tell me what you see, Megan. Ah. You see three right angles. What do those three right angles show you or tell you? 90 degrees. That each one is 90 degrees or just all of them are 90 degrees? Each of them. Each of them, 90 degrees, okay? So, what is 90 degrees times three? 270. 270. Okay? So, Megan. I'm not done with you. What's 360 minus 270? Um, 90. 90. Okay, so what shape is that? What kind of quadrilateral? It's a square. It's a square. Okay, good. You're on a roll. <laughs> okay, so how do we go about solving for that final equation? I mean, that final angle there, Megan? Um, you're doing 16x minus 6 equals 90. Okay, how do I solve? Walk me through it. Um, plus 6 equals 90. Add 6. Add 6. 96. That was a good year. That was when I moved to Washington from Georgia. Side note. Big mistake. Oh. Not really. <laughs> it was a great decision. It's <laughs> 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 
What's next? Divide 16, and what do I get? 6. X equals what? 6. X equals 6. Okay, and to confirm, I would do what, Charlotte? You would plug that into the equation. And see if it equals? Beautiful. Okay, do number 7 on your own, please, everyone. Go through the same process. Do not, I repeat, do not cut any corners. Okay, when you cut corners, you miss little details. When you miss little details, you mess up the whole problem, okay? Do not do that, all right? Go through the steps. You know you have 360, figure out what you see on the equation, okay? Find out what's missing, plug everything in, find out what X equals. Then, plug it back into the equation after you find X, confirm that what you ended up with before is correct. Neat, you should be ready. Water break. Oh, yeah, because you're running around, exerting yourself. Got it. I need to hydrate my brain. That is true. Hey, Zeke, pop, pop quiz. What does the brain feed off of most? What nutrient? Calories. What? Glucose, sugar. Oh. Right. But doesn't the brain consume a lot of calories, too? I'm not yes. sure. Like my sugar. Oh. Glucose. Okay. Do number seven, do number eight on your own. Follow the steps. Wait, do seven and eight? Yep, seven and eight. You've seen the process, you know how to run through it. Then I'm gonna call on somebody, I want somebody to walk me through it. Easy money. Easy money. Ooh, I say that all the time. I'll be like, easy money. Oh, okay. I don't think she sees football. So I don't think I do say that, but I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, say easy easy money. Money. She could talk like me, you don't know. And I said I don't think she said that. Oh. I did, I said easy, I got it, easy money. <laughs> Charlotte, why are you writing in red ink? Um, it helps your brain having like colored stuff helps your brain like 66 plus 66. look at it, 66. And gather it better. Um, but I'm just curious. So I always write my notes and just study it in like writing or something. You know that rule of thumb they say you're supposed to do math in pencil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Math. That's just one thing. Is it? Yeah. <gasps> you won't get nothing wrong on the test? Not in this category. Really? I like it. Me either. I like that confidence. I like that swagger. Uh oh. <laughs> Emma, walk me through number seven. What you got? Um, I added the three other angles, which is 110, 66, and 118, and I got. 66, or I subtracted that from 360, and I got 66 left. So I right. did 33 x would be 46, and then I divided 66, and 33 by 33 to isolate x by itself, and I got and 66 divided by 3, or 33 is equal to 8. Whoa! x equals 2. Whoa! Can we do a slow golf clap? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my God. It was kind of, it was just like straight through. Like, can I do eight too? Sure. Okay. Wait, is everybody else on eight? Yeah. Wait, did you get two? Did you get two? Yes. yes. She said a lot of blue crapping. Wait, what did you get for seven? She wasn't, she wasn't talking fast. She wasn't talking fast. You were listening fast. slow. Okay, yeah. Uh, she was talking fast. She was listening was slow. All I, heard, all I heard was gibberish. Uh, all right. Can I do, can I do it? number eight? Real no. quick. Real quick. Me? Yeah, real quick. Okay. So I added up uh, 92, 94, and 80. 92, 92, and 84. Okay. And I got... Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out where I wrote that. Tick tock, tick tock. Stop. Uh, 294. Okay. 
Are you looking at me for confirmation? I thought yeah, you had it. Come on. I wasn't sure where it's I brought 90. it. Well, and I subtracted that sum from 360 and got 92. And I wrote out negative 8 plus 10x equals 92, um, added 8 to both sides, then divided both sides by 10, and I got x equals 10. Beautiful. Everybody got it? And, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last part. This is where it's going to get messy. Messy, messy. Okay. Fasten your seat belts. Okay. Now, for number 9 through 12, what's the first thing the question is asking you to do, Tucker? Find the measure of each angle indicated. Find the measure of each angle indicated, okay? That is your objective, okay? Now, take what you see in the diagrams, okay? We see angle K has a right angle mark, which equals what? 90. We have L that equals 105, okay? Now, what is the sum total that we have based off of those two angle marks? I'm sorry, based off the right angle mark and the angle mark, the angle that they gave us? 195. 195. So, what is 360 minus 195, Estella? Um, 360 minus 195 is 165. 165. Good job, Z. Proud of you. He wants to write that. He did not. Probably. I literally was saying. Well, I had it on my calculator the whole time. I'm your new okay. calculator, man. So, uh, I mean, I'm still a child, right? Hey. Okay. So if we know 165, we know 195 is the two uh, measures that they account for, right? There's still two unaccounted for that equal 165. Rico, how did you go about solving for the two remaining angles? Which is the one I couldn't figure out. Rico, not Emma. Emma, not talking to you? I wasn't talking to you. You both need to know. Right, but I asked Rico, so Rico's got to tell me. No, sir. Oh. Is that what Emma just told you to do? No, I didn't. I, I hope so. I'm going to give the wrong information. Can you tell him? No. I'm helping him. Cora, you're up. What you got? Oh, she don't know. Oh, so yeah. Cora, we know that the two remaining angle measures is 165 degrees, yes? Yes. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So we also have two algebraic equations right here for the two remaining angles. How do we go about solving for those two remaining angles? Hang on a second. You combine them together. Combine what together? The two equations. Uh huh. What's that called? The. What do I Yeah. What's it called when you combine things together? Like. Combine like terms. What? Combine like terms. Like combine negative. like terms. Okay. Now, for both of those equations, we see negative five x. Oh, oh. Negative five plus. I'll try to write it. Oh no. <laughs> negative five plus twelve x. Plus 17x minus 4 equals 165. Okay? Cora, back to you. Now, which two like terms are we combining? Can you combine the x's and the negatives? Of course you can combine the x's. What are the other two like terms? Uh, the negatives. The negatives. Okay. Now, this is something that I want to point out. Do not make the mistake when you are combining like terms of assuming that it is just straight up addition, addition, addition. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Okay, you see a negative five here and a negative four here. That's gonna be negative five. Okay, minus you are combining negative five to negative four, not combining negative five and positive four. Okay, pay attention to the signs. I saw some errors on that before. So I okay? need you. It would be negative 9. So it would equal negative 9. Okay? Now, positive 12, positive 17 together equals what? Um, 29. 29 what? X. 29X. 29X equals 165. Okay? Now that we've combined like terms, we'll go through the same process of solving for X. Walk me through it, Cora. Okay. Uh, plus 9. Plus 9.
Okay? Now what? Well, there's 174 divided by 29. Perfect. What's one? No, perfect. No. What's 174 six. divided by 29? Six. Six. Okay, so now we know x equals six. Okay. Are we done? No, we gotta plug them in. Why are we not done? What's the next step? We gotta plug them in. Plug it into where? Into um, m. Okay. We are gonna plug our x value back into the equation that is represented for angle M because our initial question is to find the measure of the indicated angle, okay? So plug your X value of six back into the equation, negative five plus 12 X. What do you come up with? Wait. Mercedes? Wait. What? If you plug six into, if you plug- But what do we do equals for that equation? Uh-uh, no you would not. You would just do negative five plus 12 X. What you got? 12 times 3. Uh huh. Is what? Is 72, and then you do. Oh, add negative 5 to 72. Which, which is what? Is 60. 77. Wrong. No, because you have to subtract a negative number. Okay. Oh, do the math. 60. You know what's really hard is your friend sitting right next to you with her phone out. She ain't even trying to help you. 67. Wow, what a friend. 67. 67. Now you got your calculator. You just sat there and let her struggle. What do you want me to do? Get a good Mercedes. Okay. All right, nicely done, okay? So this one is a multi step process, okay? This was a multi-step process, okay? You first had to determine what the two angles that you see equal, which is 195. Then you have to determine what was left over, 165, okay? And then you also know you have two equations that total equal 165, but you need to combine like terms in order to do that. After you combine like terms on one side of the equal sign, we came up with negative 9 plus 29x equals 165. Solve for x. Once you get x, you plug that x value into the first equation that the question originally asked you to solve for. Then what you got was 67, okay? Now, the Big Dipper, last one. Which one? Number 11, Emma, since this is so easy, <laughs> walk me through how you would solve all four of these algebraic equations. We're skipping 10. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -uh. Hold on. So Come on, Emma. What? Walk me through it. Oh, oh just slide number 11. Um, you would add, put all of those together and you can solve one. Which equals what? Walk me through it. Yeah, I'm going T-U-S-V. Okay, so you're going to do 2 plus 48X plus 46X minus 2 plus 48X again minus 2 plus 38X plus 2. Then you're going to combine all of those, which is... Okay, so it's 180x plus, um, what was the other thing? Well, I was going to say 2-2. You're going to say 2-2? <laughs> okay. Now, for this one, I just wanted to run through it really quick because we're running out of time, okay? For this one, you have, you guys are used to seeing some type of angle measure or a, a right angle mark to indicate exactly what it is. For this one, you didn't get that. You got four algebraic equations. But as long as you know 
the very bare minimum of quadrilaterals, which is what, Estella? Um, three or four star three interior angles equal 360. They equal 360 degrees. As long as you have that and you know you That's have four total, you go just like that. You know it's 360. Then you can just combine. All, you know that all these equations together are going to equal 360. You combine all these like terms on one side of the equation, which would have equaled 180x because you have positive 2 minus 2, which is 0, minus 2, which is negative 0, negative 2 plus 2, which comes back to 0. So you can just write your equation out as 180x equals 360. Okay? Then, of course, you just solve for x. Okay? x came out to 2. Okay? Then, what we do is we plug this 2 back into the u equation, which gives me what? Oh, I didn't, yeah, I was just kind of wondering if we, when we do the long equation, we combine like terms, we combine, combine all x's, and then do we combine the positive numbers with the negative numbers? Yes, the like terms. So, the like terms refer to ones that aren't x. These, the ones that have variables and the ones that don't have variables. So there's like T and U. Combine the ones that are like. Okay. Questions, we good? Yeah, we good? No, I wanted you to put this in your notes. Okay, I appreciate you guys doing somewhat of a good job of being, yeah, you guys are right. Appreciate it. Signing off.